Dalruk's Puzzle Box has arrived in Rise of Kingdoms, but what exactly is this event? Should I bother spending gems on it? Come find out. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms gameplay episode from your very own Shappy Gaming. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button right over there, bottom right hand corner, and if I haven't earned it yet, then stick around. Today we're breaking down the Dalruk's Puzzle Box, uh, and if my pronunciation is bad, please forgive me, uh, and whether this event is worth it. So this event is a lot like the Hunt for History and the Holy Knight's Treasure, uh, but the cost is a little bit higher. You've got 400 per mechanism, and I do want you guys to think of really the Hunt for History model here, because that's kind of what they're going for, except they've made it just a little bit more complicated. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna read through the rules, and then I'm gonna do this. I'm on a farm account because personally, I don't think this event is worth it, uh, but I'll show you guys exactly what it takes in order to get these rewards. And I also have a nice little spreadsheet I'll be pulling up and walking you through it. So, first things first, here's the rules. You get five free tries um, for this event. I don't know if it's every day yet. This is the fir very first event, very first day of the event. I'll answer in the comment section below. Um, or mechanisms during the event to open puzzle boxes. Each time you open a puzzle box, you gain the treasure it contains. Great, very Hunt for History-like. Each level contains a rare treasure. Open it to gain all the remaining treasures on the map and move on to the next level. This is really important because if you're lucky, then maybe you can get it in the first couple of ties. Your odds are one in 16 for every reward. And so odds are fairly high that it'll take you maybe at least eight chests or eight puzzle boxes before you get that reward. Sometimes more, sometimes less. But if we're doing on average, it'll probably be about eight. That gives you a 50-50 chance. Um, keep that in mind because as we'll be going over in the spreadsheet, a lot of these rewards really are not worth it. And so let's continue. Each puzzle box opened adds to your puzzle progress, which begins at 0.5%. And you have a chance of getting a critical success multiplier. And when your puzzle progress reaches 100%, you can get access to Dalruk's private collection, where you can choose one ornate chest and gain extra treasure. Keep that in mind. This will reset your puzzle progress to zero. Each time you access Dalruk's private collection, the prize pool has a chance to reset according to the probability displayed. When the event ends, your puzzle progress will be retained and kept for the next instance of the event. So you are seeing kind of a progressive thing, which is nice. Uh, next event, you're going to be a little bit further along. But again, I think the cost for this event is very high. The other thing is the mechanisms. You can save your mechanisms, much like the hammers for Hunt for History, and use them in following events. There's a use limit for mechanisms. Once you reach the limit, you cannot use any more mechanisms to open puzzle boxes. But you can still use your free tries. So that's nice. Again, you only really get about five. Maybe that'll get you through the first floor. I doubt it'll get you further than that. At the end of each event, free tries will be reset to zero. And here are all the rewards here. And before we actually get into the spinning, I'm gonna walk you through all these rewards. So as you can see, equipment, materials, choice chests, all that great stuff. But is it worth it? So let's do this. Here we have our sweet, lovely spreadsheet. And I know my face is in the way, but we'll get, I'll scroll down and you can see it. Again, this is linked within the community discord, so be sure to join that, links in the description. The majority of the rewards here, again, are not worth it. But let's talk about the ones that are. We have the Legendary Material. This is one of the very few events that you can get a Legendary Material. And the cost is 2,400. And if you get really lucky in Dalruks, the cost is only 400 to get it. But, as I said earlier, the odds that you get this Legendary Material within 16 chests of opening, you're really probably gonna average around eight chests. Which means that, simple math, it's gonna cost you about 3,200 to get this. So keep that in mind. The other thing is, there are a couple other rewards that may or may not be worth it depending upon how you view it. The Epic Pants Fragment and the Epic Heads Fragment. You can get the random blueprint fragments in the VIP shop for um, 240 a piece. So technically these are worth it, but I don't really know if they are. Uh, if you're doing Sunset Canyon or if you're opening Crystal Keys, you probably don't need these. Uh, especially if you're a spender, which is why this event is so intriguing to me. If you're a spender, you're not going to need the epic fragment stuff. The only thing you're really going to need here are the materials. And if we take a look at the materials here, most of them aren't worth it. The epic material chest is fine. Um, you know, it's, it's 600. 
and the legendary material chest is fine. But compared to something like Holy Knight's Treasure, um, you're going to be a little bit better off. And so just keep that in mind because the odds are 1 in 16, whereas Holy Knight's Treasure, your odds are a little bit better. And so let's keep going here. Uh, we also have the 8-hour speedups, which those technically are worth it. Uh, the cost in VIP store is only 480 for the is 480 for two of those, and Dalrooks is 400. But again, your odds are really not there for you. You've got six rewards out of 16 that are actually any good, um, and if the last one is resources, so I don't know if you guys really see that to be worth it. But that's okay. Let's let's continue on, right? Maybe this private collection will be a saving grace. By the way, here's the total reward value uh, with versus the total cost for Dalrooks if you get completely unlucky. Bear in mind here though, this includes a 2400 cost for legendary materials and an 1800 cost for resources. Typically you're not gonna be buying resources. So just keep that in mind. Private collection is going to take you, if you get the worst case scenario, and I'll scroll down here so you can see it, 38,000 gems. You get about 15% from each floor that you clear. And so, that is not ideal. The only saving grace for this event, in my opinion, is that if you do stumble upon the legendary material, maybe it'll take you two, three, again, average it'll be eight, you will get all of the other rewards for free, which is nice because you, in theory, you could be getting you know, 7,000 gems, give or take, worth of rewards for only you know, half that. So that's not bad. But again, if you're a whale, you don't need building speed ups. You don't need research speed ups. You don't need these fragments. And the rest of the rewards are really not that great. Um, and 38,000 for the private collection is a lot. And then the other thing here is I think you only get to pick one. And if we pull up our odds from in game, you can actually see here that the odds are one in five for you getting a single equipment material choice chest. And it's only 8% to get double. So that's really not great. And so should you be spinning this event? Personally, I would say no. I think if you really need materials, maybe you consider it, but I would say the odds are not in your favor. And so just keep that in mind. But with that, let's get in here, let's spin it. Again, I've already done it uh, twice. And as you can see, that 15% seems to be holding true with 29% here. And we'll just buy a bunch of these on the farm account. And let's see, the cost is enormous, but that's okay. So we'll do auto here. And there we go. That time it only took four tries, which is huge. But again, our 15% seems to be holding true. So we got all those rewards, but it didn't cost us that much. Great. Let's do it again. That time was closer to 10. So now we've averaged out at about eight again. And again, our 15% rule seems to be holding true. And let's do it again. Nope, let's buy some more. Yeah, overall, I really don't like this event. I think it's kind of scammy. And I, I mean, I've already cleared five floors. And again, this is five, five that I got left. So again, it took 11 times just to get this which is a lot, and the majority of the rewards kind of suck. And I guess we can do a couple more, because why not? This is a farm account. And again, you can see it takes a bunch. I got maybe five. And <laughs> here we, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. That was seven. So it took eight times, as I said, on average, to try and get that legendary material, which is kind of a lot. And let's do this one, which should put us in Dalrook's treasure. <laughs> oh, there we go. Solve the puzzle for a chance to get to this. So again, you get one choice for the private collection, and the odds are not in your favor of getting something that's worth it. Let's pick this one. 10 crystal keys. Oh boy. I don't know if you guys know my opinions on crystal keys, but they're really not worth it. Um, since they changed the drop rate, they kind of suck. So I spent all of those gems that I could have otherwise spent in Hunt for History, Wheel, Holy Knight's Treasure for what? Four legendary equipment or materials and 10 crystal keys. 
And now I'm back to zero. So ladies and gentlemen, is this event worth it? I would say based on the statistics and the numbers that we have here and the odds and the cost for these rewards, no. The majority of the rewards that you're gonna get from this event suck and are not worth investing in. If you do want that sheet, it is linked in the Discord. Be sure to check that out in the description. If I were you, I would steer clear of this event. Your gems are definitely going to be better off elsewhere. Sure, you get a couple material choice chests, but it's not worth it for the amount of effort and gems that you're going to be putting into it. And if anyone wants to see the crystal chest opening, let's show them how much these suck, if they're still convinced. You tell me, would you spend 38,000 gems for that? Because I certainly wouldn't. I hope that you've enjoyed. If I have earned your subscription, be sure to hit that on the bottom right hand corner and hit the bell so you get notified when new episodes come out. I hope that you've enjoyed. I don't think I can say I have. Shappy out.